in all three of the scriptures today, well, four technically, but th- oh, we have three dudes who lived very, very different times, but they all are extraordinarily similar. Isaiah the prophet is speaking to the broken and battered nation of Israel, and he tells them that they will soon be brought together and made glorious and show God's power and goodness to the world. St. Paul, in his writing, his first letter to the people of Corinth, he speaks blessings upon them. And then St. John the baptizer is just going about his life and daily activities preaching and baptizing, when all of a sudden, the moment he's been waiting for, Jesus arrives. The thing that unites these three characters is that they do their best to live out the responsorial psalm. Here I am, Lord. I come to do your will. Isaiah uses his position in the community to speak God's truth and love to his people, St. Paul uses his new conversion and freedom to use the medium of letter writing to speak about Christ. And St. John the Baptizer allows his daily work to be interrupted and transformed. So whichever one of these three characters you identify most with, we are all invited to say the words and live the words of the responsorial psalm, Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Now, that's a tricky phrase, and just by itself, the will of God. How can we possibly know God's will enough to actually do it? Well, quite simply, the will of God is that every single one of us, every single one of us in our thoughts and actions, are focused on eternal life in heaven with him forever. And then the perfect example of following God's will at all times is Jesus and our Blessed Mother Mary. But we are not perfect. We make mistakes and we sin, and we can't always hear God's voice clearly. So we can learn from our three friends, John, Paul, and Ringo. I I mean Isaiah. Paul uses the media to do God's will. Letter writing was the only thing available to him in that first century. But if he were alive today, I'm sure that he would be using email and at least a few of the social media platforms that we have available to us. How are you looking for God's will to be done in what you read or watch or scroll through or post and share? Like, is it actually God's will being done or at least not contrary to it? Isaiah uses his office as a prophet to do God's will. Everything he preaches is for the betterment of the people he cares for. How are you using your office to do God's will? I mean, your office of parenthood, or the office of wife, or being a husband, or grandpa or grandma, or whatever authority you have been given at your real job in your literal office. And John the baptizer does God's will faithfully every day until Jesus comes along and the spotlight is removed from him to Christ. Are all your daily activities, noticed and unnoticed, dripping with evidence of God's will? Remember that the will of God is that every single one of our actions and thoughts is focused on eternal life in heaven. The particulars, though, get complicated So that's why we start with receiving the Eucharist every single week and listening to the words of Scripture every single week. Because by hanging out with friends like Isaiah and Paul and John and Jesus himself, who did God's will perfectly, we can practice learning God's will and doing it in every area of our life. Amen.